Welcome to another episode of Racing to Learn. We are a nonprofit that uses radio control to get kids excited about math and science. And today we're taking another look at our newest truck here, the Losi LST XXL2E. And um, one of the things that we mentioned, we, we, we bought this off of Craigslist, but um, one of the tires just blew out completely. And this is how we bought it. Uh, you know, these, these tires are kind of a known weakness of the, the platform or, you know, the XXL2E, not the best tire. So we're going to go ahead, get these off, put on some pro lines. Um, one thing I did notice is that when trying to take these off, you know, these aren't the easiest wheels and tires to get off. They have these realistic looking scale looking, um, hubcap covers here. What do you, center caps more appropriately called. Uh, but you have to take these off, right? Uh, meaning you have to remove one, two, three, four, five, six screws every time you want to take off a tire, which is uh, a bit of a headache. And, uh, you know, actually, I'm so used to having metric hardware on uh, on our trucks here um, to work with us. So um, th these screws kind of threw me off at first because uh, they weren't two and a half or two millimeters. Um, in terms of the the hex being used here, right? So usually they're pretty standard on RC cars. You're gonna either find two, two and a half, uh, maybe three on some of the larger scale models, but they're all metric. Uh, so I haven't had to break out these yet. So big thanks to our, our friends over at MIP uh, for sending over these these hex drivers in uh, in standard form here, right? And MIP makes really high quality stuff. Uh, we run their um, their axles on, on some of our trucks, um, and we have a chance to unbox the tools here. So i uh, going to go ahead and open these up. We've got some decals there included. Uh, but um, yeah, I haven't had a chance to, to use these. So MIP, if you guys didn't know, they, they do some high quality, very high quality manufacturing. And there we go. That is the wrench that we were looking for it is actually a what is this here so used to using um, standard or rather metric versus uh, inch no, standard drivers here so oh there's some stickers there to actually put on um, which is which here, but you know, you just, essentially I took the largest one. I don't know what this is off the top of my head. I'll find out later when I actually put the labels on. Uh, but uh, yeah, we'll have to go ahead and remove these guys first. And so, you know, as I mentioned in the previous videos, the Losi actually has a non-standard 20 millimeter hex that the wheel fits onto there. So we're going to have to go ahead and convert these to, to 17 millimeter standard A skill hexes. And uh, I've, I've, you know, I've read online on the forums that any standard buggy 17 millimeter hex will actually do. And so we'll see what we have laying around here in the workshop. Uh, I actually have some associated 17 millimeter extenders. I think they believe I believe they're off of the um, the RC8T. So if we need some more width, right, if we want to use some extenders. Uh, We'll go ahead and see if those fit. So, yeah, apparently on the forums I read that most eighth scale buggies have an eight millimeter uh, diameter axle. And that's pretty standard amongst manufacturers. So, supposedly any any 17 millimeter hex adapter that has an inner hole that is eight millimeters in diameter 
should fit the LST, LST2, XXL, XXL2, basically the platform of trucks that this Losi is based on. So finally got that cover off and then it reveals the, the center nut here. So we'll go ahead and get that removed. Let me just grab another wrench here. That's not going to work. All right. It looks like these are torqued down pretty hard. So anyways, we'll, we'll pull those off, try to get a, um, a 17 millimeter hex fitted on there, and we'll show you guys next ep episode what we discover. So thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.